Hello everyone I am Kirbar Jassi from second BA English in this video we shall see about summary of wits and weddings wits and weddings by philip larkin about the author philip larkin was born in 1922 august 9 in the place called conventry philip larkin is a major british poet and typical representative of a new moment in english poetry his earlier poems shows the influence of w b yeats Larkin's poetry is distinguished for its final sense of form, clarity of expression, intelligent cross form, shift and thoughtful realism. His notable works The Witson Weddings High Windows. Summary: Witson Day is the one day of the year in which the marriage tax is declared null by the British government, thus affording hours to relief to those couples unable to get hired due to dire economic circumstances. It is on that day that the speaker of the Witson Weddings has been forced to take a later train than the usual one. He writes. It is almost 1:30 on an unpleasantly hot Saturday afternoon when the quarter full train pulls from the station as the train takes off a panorama of the backside of homes a fishing dock and a river or can be seen through the open windows as the afternoon wears on and the train speeds through the countryside The sites are replaced by stretches of farmland, industrial canals, and another town that look like the last one. But the speaker does not take much notice of as the train is moving or the weddings that are taking place as a result of the holiday. The bright afternoon sun throws its light on certain senses, while others remain hidden in the shade. only when the moment comes to a stop at each station is the speaker given enough time to pay attention to the weddings the first thing that strikes him is the loudness that this weddings produce the second thing he notices is how the brides and the maids try to copy the latest fashion but succeed only in becoming paradise of style his next thought is how all the mothers of the bride share the common physical trait of being overweight how yellow purple and green are the hot color of the moment and how every single wedding party seems to include a dirty minded uncle summer cafes barbecue halls and yachts all serve well for string the bunting and hosting the party and then a maid a hail of confetti and last minute advice the bride and groom were waved goodbye on the train platform as the train makes its way closer to london the landscape grows more urban in atmosphere and a dozen more marriages will take place before the speaker arrives as the train begin to move well past begin only a quarter full the speaker ponders how none of the grooms and the brides were stopped to contemplate how they will share something with each other each of the other newly wedding couples for us long as their marriage lasts us the light but unavoidable appearance sense of scorn toward the bridal parties that the speaker has expressed in his thoughts and a gross and ironic shift as the train pulls into the station london's industrial dock suddenly takes on a sense of magic as he realizes that the collection of so many newly married couple has given a meaning to the coincidence that has brought them all together in the same yeah me imaginary of arrows showers and rain the full significance of the massive potential for all the fertility to come together and change the world overwhelms his previous cynical attitude thank you for watching